Hey YouTube world, it's Miss Hannibal and Kayla98. <gasps> and this is Experiments with Kayla and Hannah. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tune in for some awesome experience. experiences. Like, experiments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do it. So we are making science experiments, and this is a cool colored experiment with milk. Take milk, just ordinary milk, an ordinary plate. Any kind of milk. Yes. And you put just a little bit of milk in here. <gasps> Splash. Put the lid on. And you take any color food coloring. You just do like two to three drops. If more, it's okay. And you do it like in a square. Like so. You wait for a minute while it kind of expands. That purple one looks really cool. I like this one. Okay. And you put soap right in the middle. And watch the magic. It's like... Those little fizzies that you put in the bath, you know, for the little kids. Pretty cool. And then you can then always you can just kind of like play with it. And some more right here. You could always just put like a little dab of soap. I like the blue the best. I like the purple. But look at that blue. It's so, oh, dang. It's so peaceful. Okay, so we're done with this one. You want to watch me mix them? <gasps> now that looks really cool. That looks so pretty, like the green and the blue together. <laughs> that looks, like, so cool. Okay, so I'm going to start. Now you're making it look ugly. Oh, okay. Quick tip from the science lab. If you get food coloring on your fingers, just use toothpaste. Scrub it like normal soap. Hey, you guys. So, this experiment is to make a solid and a liquid at the same time. I know, it sounds like crazy, but it works. Right, so Here's some already made up. Yeah. Your finger, like, sinks. It's, like, amazing. I wish you could tell. Anywho. Alright, so what you need is cornstarch. About that much. Three, this is cornstarch. Three paper bowls. One with cornstarch, one empty, and one with about that much water. Alright, so for every spoonful of cornstarch. You're going to take a spoonful of water. And then you're going to do two spoonfuls of cornstarch and two spoonfuls of water. And then you mix. And you can tell it's getting harder. And it's harder to mix. And then you just keep on doing that. For every couple of spoonfuls of starch, you get a couple of spoonfuls of water. So we'll get back to this whenever we are done. And we'll show you the finished product. Okay, so this that we made is called Ooblek, believe it or not. It is spelled like this. Ooblek. Uh, here's the finished product. We used green coloring food. Green food coloring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you can use pretty much any kind of food coloring, any color, whatever you want. See? It's a liquid. See? You can move it around, and it moves. And you can sink your finger in it, and you can just tell it's a liquid. But then, you can run your finger completely across it, and just run your hands across it. Like, and you can push it around. you like, yeah. And it's... <laughs> Nothing. It's a complete solid. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh, and another quick tip from Kayla98. You can stick it in a bag, just a plastic little bag like this, and it keeps it for a long time. That was made about three days ago, so it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. See? It's a liquid. You can pour it in a bag. Look how liquidy that is. Heck yes. That is definitely a liquid if I ever did see one. So any of you people saying that it's not a liquid, that is definitely a liquid. 
So don't comment saying we're liars. Because it is a liquid. Try it yourself. But it's also a solid. How Break cool is that? Gel. That is the most amazing thing ever. Hannah Hearts Ublek. Yeah, it looks like snot, Kayla. <laughs> Kayla's snotting. Okay, now, we're done here. Trying these experiments at home, you might want to wear old clothes because you might get some of it on you. Okay, for this experiment, you're going to need a vinegar, a candle, this, like, tall jar, baking soda, a lighter, and parental supervision, if you're under the ages of, you know, whatever ages. <laughs> Alright, so, you should already know by now that baking soda and vinegar, when they mix, they make... So, <laughs> you're going to take the baking soda. And you open it like this. It's not a screw. <laughs> you're going to take the baking soda and pour just That's a much. little bit. That's enough, because it's going to fizz up really big. That's you know, just a little bit in the bottom, like even at... And even it out. And then you're going to take just a little bit of vinegar. And as you can tell, it's fizzing. Now you want to light your candle. So imagine that this container is filled to the brink of gas. Because it is. Let's watch his hand and try to light like this. Let's try to light a candle. Alright, so this is filled to the brim with carbon dioxide, which does not do good with candles. As soon as you put the opening to the bottle up to the candle, the flame immediately goes out due to the gases. How cool is that? Amazing. And remember, use adult supervision for this because it is fire, and fire can be... Hazardous. Don't burn your house down. That mm -hmm. would be bad. Make okay. sure not to use too much vinegar or baking soda or you will have an explosion. And that would be bad. Yes. So, okay. thanks for watching. You just watched Science Experiments with Hannah and Kayla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty awesome, right? Alright, so don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe sub uh -huh. to Kayla98. <laughs> And Miss Annabelle. Thank you. Bye. Bye.